Good morning, everyone. It's Kevin, the paracordist, here for part two of the quick release keychain bola. What I'm going to do now uh, is link part one in case you haven't been there yet so you can get your starting point. I've got the monkey's fist on one end already. It hasn't been completely dressed up yet, but you get the picture. And then here's my other working end here. Alright, so I'm going to go in, oh, my, I'm sorry, here's the other working end, I've already attached my, uh, my fid to it. I'm going to go in roughly five feet from the other end, alright, so I'm going to take this and measure off five feet. So, and here I will begin my other monkey's fist. Now I'm going to tie it in hand just like I did before, and I'm going to speed this up because you can go to part one to see how this is done. The main point I've made so far is to start in roughly around five feet. Once I finish tying the monkey's fist, I will slow down to regular speed and show you how to complete this part of the project. Here I want to leave about a foot and a half, actually probably better to be two feet to be safe, on this working end here, when you use it in tying the lanyard knot and doubling it. So I'm not going to tighten to remove slack out here, I'll tighten to remove slack in the other direction towards the original monkey's fist. laying down make it easier for you to see the lanyard knot. Got the monkey's fist here. This end on the left leads 
to the other monkey's fist. This end here is the end with the fid. Okay? Alright, so now I'm going to tie the lanyard knot. Set this up like this. Now this one goes under. Like that. Now with the paracord fit, I should be able to show you how this goes easy enough. Under here, over here, under here, over here, and under there. Pull this through, pick it up. Now I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to take this end here, which is going to the other monkey's fist, bring it all the way through here. That's why I said you got to leave it big. For now. Okay. So that's what I just tied on the floor. There's the shape of it. I got this working end coming from the bottom up, and this one coming from the bottom up. It goes around, in this case, counterclockwise and up through there. So in a counterclockwise direction, I'm going to pass, keep all of this elevated, I'm going to pass down below here, around the end coming from the monkey's fist, and up the middle. Now I just have to do the same thing with the other end. The other end happens to be the one that has the monkey's fist on it. Keep all this up. I'm going to take the end with the monkey's fist over here. It's going to go down around this end and up through the middle. The entire monkey's fist comes up the middle. This is a little looser than I normally have it, but it is the lanyard knot. So I just have to carefully dress it tight, work it down close to the monkey's fist. Okay, that's it. I have to, um, well, as a matter of preference, I like to work it closer to the monkey's fist, which you may want to as well. So this takes a little bit of dressing. Got to work it up close, then take this, cut and burn it here. What I end up with, monkey's fists on two ends of a continuous strand. Um, I got roughly 
five or six feet when you form a bite. Uh, I'm sorry, before you form a bite. And when you fold it in half, it's roughly three feet. Uh, again, you adjust to preference. And the next video in the series is actually one that I filmed a while ago. I'll show you how to take this now and to tie the, um, the screw knot that is um, going to take all this extra cord up into a quick release weave here and allow you to um, put a keychain on it. Thanks again for watching, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and visit paracordist.com.